I'm Cynthia for Arby's Cafe and Sherry with me today. Hi Sherry. Hi Cynthia. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Good. Thanks. We're having a very special video today. It's something we haven't done before. No. And we're talking about hats. Why hats? <laughs> because we've seen them being decorated more and more. And we have some really cute hat decoration to show you. And Sherry's going to start with, with those beautiful hats here. Aren't they fun? Are they yours? No, they're not. These belong to Meg, our graphic designer. She loves hats. And um, she um, brought this one in. Mm -hmm. um, she's not crazy about the hat band that's on this right. one. And so we started talking about making hat bands okay. and what that might be. Um, we, she'd seen some beautiful beaded bands and we talked yeah. about um, leather and other things. And so right. that's what started the whole ball rolling. Okay. So she really likes the, the leather on the black hat, okay. the simple leather right. um, band. And so we uh, talked a little bit about what that might be. What, what do we have that we right. can make a hat band um, out of? So um, we took this band off and as you can see, it was glued on. So anything new that you're going to make, you're going to need to uh, make sure that that is covered. Right. So we started with this leather, mm -hmm. um, which is really pretty. And um, I love the tone-on-tone the -tone look of this brown. It has a little bit of texture. Right. And you're going to want to position it so that it hides the mm -hmm. um, existing glue. And then there are different ways you can go about finishing um, this. You can bring your two ends together to right. meet um, like they did on this like hat. This yeah, and then just put a band of leather over that seam. Okay. Or you could thread stitch or right. um, you could pin something on yes. there. There's all kinds of different ways you can Even fix that seam. Even a peyote band. Ooh, wouldn't it's that be pretty? Yeah, I think so. Um, so really easy, quick way uh -huh. to um, make a hat like band. That. And then we also loved this braided oh. leather and liked the um, contrast of the black on the tan. That is really and pretty. And then finish in the same, mm -hmm. same manner. Um, and then we thought, for a little contemporary look, right. what about chain? You know, what would that look like? On a hat, this is a wide. Um, it has the look of chain mail, okay. and um, you would just simply bring these two pieces together and link right. them with jump rings. Right. And so, That's super cool. easy. And then just you can just slip that on and off if you want. Um, right. So really easy. And then this piece I braided up very quickly mm -hmm. with three um, pieces of the silk ribbon, okay. and they come in such beautiful colors. And then brought that oh. around. Oh, to cover so it, which pretty. lightens it up, gives it a very casual right. look. And again, you're going to want to play with that to get uh -huh. it to cover. I just knotted the ends. Um, depending on the size of the hat, um, this ribbon may or may not meet in the back, right. but you can add it to another ribbon if you like, mm -hmm. um, or find a brooch or something to connect that with right. to make that work. That is so pretty. And then we started talking about beads. Ooh. And we um, started with, um, we had all these bracelets, different <laughs> kinds of bead stitched bracelets. And this is a very traditional loomed um, look that we thought was a lot of fun. Um, she was seeing some um, things that had much more contemporary feel to okay. them. And so then we pulled out different things. We pulled out this bracelet, and I this is very wide. Yes. <laughs> the the subtle colors, um, I think, are really pretty on this hat and could be adapted really well. It wouldn't have to be this wide. Mm -hmm. You could make a narrower version of this. But how pretty this stitch looks on here. So a little, Please. just a contemporary look versus yes. the traditional uh, Western look. Um, and then uh, these are the uh, duos. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, Looks really different too. look. Yes. Um, I don't know, you know, that we tend to think of using different bead types for hats. We, we kind of get stuck in a rut with loomed right. pieces. Right. And any of these bead stitching um, uh, pieces wow. would work. And here's another with the duos. And so I think just looks really yes. pretty. And those are two tones. So if your hat, you know, you move your hat and you can see two tones of colors. Right. That would be really fun. Right. Uh, this is another loomed one that we trimmed with leather. And, and that's a really fun look, yeah, too. And then this one's a little wide. But um, when we held the herringbone up, she went, ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it just has a different look. It looks very organic, um, but um, a little contemporary. And so I thought, well, why don't we try that? Mm -hmm. So this is the piece that I ended up with. This wow. is a herringbone piece. And um, it, it, you know, it went together pretty fast in the herringbone. Okay. You're working with two beads at a time. And okay. so you're building um, the bracelet pr or the, uh, the hat band pretty quickly. And then I trimmed it with leather. I just um, whip stitched the leather onto the um, edges when I was done and then finished the ends with the, um, by bringing the little leather ends forward and tying nice. them off. And then Such a great that idea. just oh, that is so pretty. slips down over. And again, you want to make sure you're covering yes. up any glue that might be there. And voila! So pretty. Look, Meg, yeah. you have a new hat. <laughs> How many more can you have? Yeah. You just have so, to buy the hat and then right, right. So this is so pretty. That was so much fun to, to do. I bet, yeah. I haven't worn a hat in a long time and I think I may be ready now. <laughs> it is really pretty. I love it. I love yeah. it. It's really cool. So Thanks. I made some hat too. And let's put those away and I can show you what I did. So um this is a gardening hat but oh. I say here let's make it a little fancier and we have those beautiful silk ribbon beautiful, and those are very wide. wide but what I like on this one I put some flat backs in the back isn't that beautiful and I thought you know just the back like that I is cute it. I mean in the front you could put something too you well, can certainly. put more uh, flat backs or, or whatever but I thought that was really cute like that my gardening hat so Ooh. pretty <laughs> fancy right <laughs> And then I love knitting, mm. so I did this. This one just blew me away. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think that the overall effect of that is stunning. Oh, thank you. So I guess they call Benny or uh, slush, slushy hats like that. Um, so what I did is I went online and I looked for a pattern, and they're pretty um, trendy, a very easy pattern to, to find for making hats like that. And then I string my beads. And as I'm knitting, I put my beads on. And we do have tutorial on our uh, learning center to find how to uh, knit with beads. And that was really fun. And you know, the beauty of this is the yarn has several colors. And then I use the blend, the seed bead blend that have different color of beads too. So it makes a great effect. Oh, it's just right? so beautiful. So all the beads are strung on uh, in, the, in the way first. you did this one first. Yes. Okay, in a random pattern yes then? okay oh, yes i didn't <coughs> think at all about how i'm gonna do mm -hmm. this so yeah i really oh, like this I love one it. thank beautiful. you beautiful this one and then i thought what about a baseball hat cute so this is one that i started with the flower here and it's just a flower that i, I glued and inside we have a non-design uh, basil it's a, a lapel Lapel? Lapel. <laughs> I cannot say this. <laughs> a lapel pin. So I have to tell you the story about this because usually when you see basil, uh, we put um, epoxy clay mm -hmm. inside and then we put chatons. And I did not want to do any epoxy clay that, that morning. I thought, no, I don't want to go <laughs> this way. I want something easy <laughs> and fast. So I just took some um, glue and I put some seed beads. Oh. And that's it. So I glue some beads okay. inside. But isn't that cute? Uh, no, like it's an epoxy uh, or um, E6000 or? Yeah, E6000. Okay. I use actually the super glue. Oh, super. And, oh. Yes. So that was really that fast. That is fast. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and then I wanted uh, to put some flat backs and, and I love those kind of little flowers there. So I did that. And then I still wanted to stay with the lace. So you can mm. buy those lace to a um, fabric store. The only okay. thing you do is you cut, you glue them, and uh, use a gem tag to glue, and then you glue the flat backs. Oh, so cute. And uh, yeah, I think it's really, uh, really well, There's so many too. different laces out there, so they can all be so different. Yes. Um, but easy. Yes, you can make your, your own cute. unique style. I love Aww. this one. And again, I use here some uh, non-design uh, lapel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I didn't want to put some clay. I use glue. Very cute. But the seed beads, they kind of have this uh, little uh, shimmer of white and blue. And I put a lot of it. 
So it, it's, it goes out a little. Okay, a little dimensional. Yes. Cute. And then I wanted okay. to, you know, it's in space. So I did like the stars and the night. So I used some different uh, tone mm. on of uh, flat backs. I thought that was really fun. Very fun. And of course, you can go crazy. I mean, you can flat back your whole <laughs> cup, right? <laughs> and I've seen pictures like that. <laughs> a little too yeah. much for me, but hey, Cute. we can go crazy. And the last one that I made, this is a band oh. that actually my sister made. Um, I asked her when she was here to do a headband, and she did this, and she just put some pieces of cloth together. She's really good at sewing. And the only thing I added was the bead here in the middle. I sew the oh, bead. Oh, that's beautiful. And then she had that flower and I just put a button here. This is a Tiracas button. I thought that was really, uh, really Oh, what cute. a beautiful band. It oh. is, yeah. I love, I love the work that she did here. And then- um, That's a great application. Oh. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not someone that sew, so I asked my mom to sew the mm -hmm. band on the hat. <laughs> I can beat, but I cannot sew. Oh, cute. <laughs> so, yes, that's really cute. So it's really, I mean, we both have so much fun mm -hmm. doing those hat yeah, decoration. Yeah. And you can see you can add beads, you can have flat packs, you can have leather. There is so much you can do. And yeah. uh, we had fun. Very much. Yes. Yeah. So hopefully it, we inspire you here and hopefully you can make something like that to decorate your hat for summer or for winter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, thank you. Shiri, for showing yeah. all of this. And I'm thank sure you. Meg is very happy. I, I hope so. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> she, was in, she was inspiring. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter. And you can see all our great ideas and our great Great promotion too. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye.